Guys, listen to this statement made by Michael Barkaitis in 2019. The full article spoke about how Blender was nowhere near Cinema 4D in terms of anything. To some extent, that was true, but the most interesting part is Blender from 2019 up till now has gone through a serious overhauling which has made every claim he made in his article false. These are some of the claims. 1. Cinema 4D is for people who want a career in VFX and CG for film, broadcast, games and motion graphics. Blender is for people who only want something to play with. 2. Cinema 4D has a long and loyal fan base that has developed over time to become the gold standard in CG for motion graphics. I agree with this part because Cinema 4D is considered an industry standard because of its ability to handle motion graphics than other 3D softwares I know. Now this is the third claim he's making. Blender is a good product and many animators and designers start with Blender and then graduate to Maya and Cinema 4D when they decide to get serious with their 3D. That's a bit cold statement for every beginner around the world. This is false. In fact, the old man who wrote this article has been in the industry for about 20 years and knows exactly what he's talking about. But personally, I think he was a bit biased with his comparisons. In this video, I place Cinema 4D with Blender side by side. For anyone who is confused as to which one to go in for, kindly stay connected to the end of this video for a complete free Blender tutorial. And also don't forget to subscribe if you love this video. Without wasting much time, let's... Cinema 4D is way easier to learn than Blender and without any doubt the most robust comprehensive and reliable 3D software application out there. The release of Cinema 4D R20 made some huge upgrades on node-based materials, more graph fields, cut data import, volume modeling and pro render. Oh dear. Sometimes I get sad as a 3D's Max user because we don't get to experience such updates frequently. Okay. Also, Cinema 4D has the friendliest and most decent user interface amongst all the 3D apps, which I think every beginner would appreciate whether you start with model creation or jump right into animation. Its workflow is super smooth because of its advanced tools. Cinema 4D isn't free, it costs as much as a decently used car. Blender 2.8 and above are based on a modern architecture, it's lightweight, fast and almost never crashes. You know all those crazy user interface quirks such as right click to select in previous versions? Yep, they ditched them all. They programmed it to respond just like any normal software would. It's also now PBR based which means it plays a lot better now with rendering environment and gaming engines. There is more to learn in Blender than Cinema 4D in terms of tools, user interface and hotkeys but overall Blender isn't that difficult to learn. It's not a waste of time learning Blender, whether you are already a professional 3D artist who want to learn another 3D software in addition to the one you already use, or a newbie who is searching for a free powerful 3D software to use. When it comes to which one is very easy to learn, I would give it to Cinema 4D. Cinema 4D is one software which you can learn on your own without any intensive teaching. It gets to a point in Cinema 4D where everything is almost like a drag and drop. It's almost as if everything has been cooked for you. Blender on the other hand is a little tough to sail through comparing it to Cinema 4D but the good news here is there are thousands of tutorials on the internet especially on YouTube which makes Blender seem not so tough because any problem you encounter already has a tutorial to it solved on YouTube. So in terms of which is easy to learn I would give it a draw for both Blender and Cinema 4D. We all know ZBrush to be the king of sculpting but right now as you are watching this video, Blender is one of the best alternatives to ZBrush. Blender is packed with tons of add-ons which enables its users to modify characters much faster and easier, especially if you are to only focus on architecture and hard surface modeling. Cinema 4D on the other hand has great tools for sculpting but not as advanced as what Blender gives you. Honestly, I spent a lot of time to write on sculpting for Cinema 4D but later I realized, you know what, Cinema 4D isn't the best place to start sculpting. It lacks a lot in sculpting but the thing is, sculpting isn't magazines 
focus. Imagine is um, making a lot of money from two cinema quality users will purchase in order to um, achieve quality models and textures for motion graphics. So if you really want to take sculpting seriously, then you should start from Blender. And as you begin to make some money, you can hop on ZBrush. That's all I can say. Don't waste time, guys. Cinema 4D isn't the way to go if you want to sculpt. Blender is already powered with lots of inbuilt sculpting brushes and features. Any planet, any day, any time. I'm always going to pick Blender over Cinema 4D when it comes to sculpting. Cinema 4D offers various tools for 3D model creation, such as polygonal or volume um, modeling. It's powered by tons of presets, architectural objects, as well as textures. Cinema 4D has no problem creating photorealistic um, textures with its texturing to presets. Its texturing user interface is very clean and makes you understand each option without having to go through too much struggle, which helps you save lots of time when defining the surface of a 3D model. Overall, Cinema 4D is super packed with tons of features that helps you achieve highly quality textured models when it comes to motion graphics. If you really want to take your motion graphics game to another level in Cinema 4D, then you shouldn't be hesitant to spend money on more advanced plugin. Let's talk about Blender. Blender supports Python 3.0, which allows the creation of custom add-ons. This means on top of default modeling methods, such as um, polygon and meshes, you have the option to use many add-ons and plugins. Unlike Cinema 4D, Blender offers polygonal modeling and sculpting to side by side. This simplifies the workflow between your idea and the final project. So you know, Blender takes the crown when it comes to modeling and texturing. But if you are only interested in working on commercials, news, sports, or any agency that relies heavily on motion graphics, then Cinema 4D is the way to go. Blender at this point still has some catching up to do when it comes to motion graphics. But the dicey part is Blender handles modeling and texturing way better than Cinema 4D when there is no motion graphics involved. I'm going to call this one a draw and this is my reason. If I'm to go through the motion graphics usage data, I realize the number of people modeling and texturing for motion graphics are lower than others who model and texture not because of motion graphics which means blender surely is the way to go if you are going to model and texture in complement with another software let's say houdini but if the modeling and texturing is going to be used for motion graphics then it's better to keep it in cinema 4d i hope you got this one cinema 4d offers huge library for tools for character animation for instance after one is done with modeling in Cinema 4D, he or she can immediately move on to rigging and prepare it right away um, for animation to enhance the realism of the animated character. With all this said, you have to keep in mind if you want the best of animation and simulation in Cinema 4D, you would have to rely heavily on plugins. That comes at a cost. Plugins like X-Particles, which is one of the best and most popular, in addition to film effects and real flow, would do um, a great job at simulating anything that falls within its power. Okay, Blender. Blender's two sets for breaking an animation is great, and it's been used to create a lot of short films. It has tools for motion tracking, adding sound, syncing with motion, adding multiple soundtrack, and a lot more. Additionally, Blender offers a built-in character user, non-linear animation tool, and audio sync. All these works together to provide a well-polished output. Blender has worked a lot on simulations and their phases system helps you simulate a lot of different real-world phenomena like rain, flowing water, cloth movement or smokes. Overall, Blender is superior to Cinema 4D when it comes to animation and simulation since it's relied on its eternal um, tools to create effect and simulations for a very long time. Also, its open source feature blended with free add-ons for animation and simulation kicks Cinema 4D out of the way. Cinema 4D is a paid software and there are many different subscription options. It costs around $100 a month if you pay month to month and choosing the annual subscription brings it down the price to around $60 a month. If you are in for all, there is a lifetime subscription for about $3,600 
3,700 there about beginners all those who first want to check out can take advantage of cinema 4d's free 14 days trial there is also an educational version for which you would need to apply note that educational license is only for non-commercial use on the flip side blender is completely free to download and open source it's published under the gnu general public license which makes every creation your property Cinema 4D being a premium software helps its users a lot when it comes to tutorials. But as we all know, Magazine isn't doing a great job on their website when it comes to providing lots of tutorials. So you would have to look elsewhere like Skillshare, Blender.com, Udemy, Cineversity, and maybe YouTube for good tutorials. Blender, hands down, has tutorials scattered all over the internet like Beach Sand. If you really want to begin your 3D journey, then you actually have no excuse to make at this point, thanks to Blender. If you are a beginner and want to give your 3D creativity a boost without spending a single dime, Blender is the better option. However, if you want to learn a program used in many professional settings, Cinema 4D will be a good investment. But we can't be too certain of that because according to my research, Blender has already made it into the pipeline of certain big studios around the world. Kindly check my description below for a complete video course on Blender. If you love this video, then subscribe to my channel. It will be very much appreciated. See you in my next video.